What a night we expect it to be. We are live at the CompuBox Academy. I'm Todd Grisham. And next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Hi to everybody back home. And now it's time for our tale of the tape. Tyson Fury. He is... Tyson Fury. He's so big and yet so light on his feet. No one moves around the ring quite like this man. Rocky Marciano, 201. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red. A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. Todd, you know when you've got two fighters there that really believe they're going to win, really want to get it on? This is when it gets stupid. Expectations are sky high for this fight. We're these athletes have been waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. Missed him with that uppercut. He threw the hook, didn't land. He fails to score with that left hook. So much pre-match drama before this. Looks like we're going to see an early night here. He is rocked. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. It's all offense all the time. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. He takes that jab. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Punching for both these fighters. He misses with that jab. Both men step back for just a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Let's talk about Tyson Fury. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Come on, look across the edge, look at him now. Well, we've just taken a big breath, and here we go again. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Oh, my. That's a game changer. Disaster averted, it seems. We continue on. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Swing and a miss with that hook. Skill for skill, tap for tap. It's like a match made in heaven. Let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. What a punch. Perfect counter shot. That was something, Rocky. Oh, that changes everything. And down they go. Talk about 
Tyson Fury. Oh, God, what a huge momentum God, swing that's going to be, forward, considering that round will be 10 8 after forward, the knockdown. To make or break a fighter. Be smart, change your angle. Great round, great round. Now, relax, relax. Now, go into the road. He's ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. He's hurt. He's ready to go. And here's Ring the bell, bell and here we go. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Nice counter shot. That left lands. You'd like to see more jabs. We're we witnessing one of the all time greats go down. One, two. Talk about Tyson Fury. You gotta wonder how big of a factor that knockdown is gonna be. We just saw. I love the response though. Got back up, took a deep breath, and thought, right, brush it off, get on with the job. Here we go to the fourth round. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go, because you know they're on shaky legs. They're a, a nuts here, away from getting stopped. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You find the swarmer, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. figure out the combination to this safe. It's a very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Left counter scores. They both want a knockout, you can tell. He missed with that jab. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left.
talk about Tyson Fury. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And the tournament's got to throw a firecracker on the fight to get out there and get the job done. Things are starting to heat up now as we enter the fifth. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. You're not going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight classes in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want the heavy fist. It's a couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drums, because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to run. Both men step back for just a moment. Nice exchange here from both men. He just misses with that big right hand. Changes from both men in this round. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain. Though. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the problem is coming from. A lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Nice counter shot. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Let's talk about Tyson Fury. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute... Let's start the six. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. That punch lands. Fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they run out of steam. These shots, even if they land, are going to do no damage. Timing beats speed, speed beats power. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Big swing and a miss with the hook. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than our first. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Talking about Tyson Fury. He is down. Here we go. It's round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. 
So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight, not yet, not until your senses have come back. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Both men step back for just a moment. Let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. When you've been a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons. And they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Good left counter that lands. Might want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. You'd like to see more jabs. for the weary. Great counter right hand there. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Tyson Fury. Talk about a one second. And there's the bell to start round eight. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. You hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you've cheated, now we're going to find out. He misses with that jab. Nice counter. Good counter punch. Defense is not an option for these two. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, we fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Men step back for just a moment. That right hook catching air. He gets out of the way of that left hand. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Talking about Tyson Fury. That and we enter the night. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Good counter punching for both these athletes. A swing and a miss with the left hook. 
just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Swing and a miss with that left hook. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? You hear people talk about a boxer's... Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Catch and shoot. Let's talk about Tyson Fury. Well, and there's the bell for round 10. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. That uppercut doesn't land. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around them. Work the body, use tactics sometimes it's so hard to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. That left counterpunch will score. Let's talk about Tyson Fury. That's start 11. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Fighters certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to think him. You've just got to be smarter than him. He's got to be like a little fager to pickpocket them. And he misses with the left uppercut. Counter punch. Good punch. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. This can be so frustrating when you're in with such a fast fighter, fast fighter that can throw three full shot combinations before you've even let one off. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Not 
a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Tyson Fury. And around. Who thought we would have made it to 12? Let's see how they bounce back here in this round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. Nice counter shot with the right hand. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. You'd like to see more jabs. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Just gets out of the way of that left hand. Nice exchange here from both men. Good counter punching. The old adage is no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. fight a little bit closer, but the judges are in agreement. A unanimous decision win. This is the last thing we expected. What a fight. What a style. What a pace to get a unanimous decision. That is mad. This, I didn't see that coming. I thought this would be tight. This is nowhere near tight.